As Mr. Mobile, I've covered electric and hybrid cars from Tesla to Toyota. And on my last day at CES 2018, I test drove an EV unlike any I'd seen before. I'm Michael Fisher, and this is the Electromechanica Solo, an electric car built for one. Okay, if the first word out of your mouth when you saw this thumbnail was, why? Well, the pitch from Electromechanica is basically this. Savings, both on carbon footprint and fuel costs. I only had a half hour with the Solo at CES, so I can't confirm anything yet, but I do have some early thoughts. And given how tiny this thing is, a half hour was more than enough for a walk around and a quick run around the block. The car I drove wasn't quite production quality. There were some panel gaps that were wider than they will be on the final model, and I was missing a few creature comforts, like fine temperature control for the cabin. Otherwise, though, this is mostly what buyers will be getting. A micro-sized electric car with trunk space both behind and in front of the cabin, a 16-kilowatt-hour lithium-ion battery and 82-horsepower electric motor driving the single rear wheel. Now, if you're thinking that makes this more enclosed trike than proper car, you've got a solid argument. In fact, here in the States, it's certified under safety rules governing motorcycles. So no airbags in either the steering wheel or the roof pillars, which are instead covered in a carpet-like fabric. In my quick putter around the Las Vegas Convention Center, I was surprised at how much driving the Solo felt like driving any other car. After I got used to using a three-way switch for a gear shift and relying on side mirrors and a backup camera instead of a rear view, the Solo was very comfortable. With a rated 0 to 60 in 8 seconds and a software-limited top speed of about 80 miles an hour, it's no dragster. But it felt zippy enough. While you are rather low to the road, the feeling is more like driving a Miata than a motorcycle. Until, of course, you want to bring a guest along. Oh, and, uh... Get ready for some attention from passersby. Hard to pick up chicks, though. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'm trying to secure a longer session to give the Solo a proper review, but until then, here's what I like. The 100-mile range and 3-6-hour to six hour top up time, depending on what voltage you're plugged into. The simple driving experience that any car driver can understand. Power windows, keyless entry, and a Bluetooth stereo system and the tiny, tiny footprint that should make parking a breeze. I'm not so crazy about the recessed and rather small dashboard display. I'm not sure how I'd feel surrounded by big rigs on a highway and something this small. It's so tiny. And I don't like that air conditioning is an option that'll cost an extra thousand bucks. Speaking of dollars, the Solo starts at 15,500. If you want to reserve one, it'll cost a refundable 250 bucks and you should expect delivery around the fourth quarter of 2018. As someone who values mobility and considers electric cars the future, I find the Solo intriguing. I'll hold my final recommendation until I'm able to spend more than a half hour in the thing, but tell me what you think. Electromechanica has data that says 90% of drivers ride alone most of the time, and if you're one of them, could a car like this find a place in your life? Tell me why or why not down in the comments, and please subscribe to The Mr. Mobile on YouTube so you don't miss the full review when it pulls up to the curb. Mr. Mobile CES 2018 coverage is brought to you by Thrifter, a new way to save money on everything from gadgets to home goods by shopping based on value and not hype. Check out the latest deals at thrifter.com and tell them Mr. Mobile sent you. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay mobile, my friends.